everybody to come into the webinar at the moment. You've got some happy smiling faces waiting for you today. And we've got Torrance that's making us all jealous with his lovely background and we all just want to jump in the Duns River Falls. <laughs> <laughs> and just wait another couple of minutes because we've just got quite a few people coming in still. Good morning, everybody. Getting lots of messages coming through. Um, so just, just to quickly go through the options, I think you know the score by now, but we've got the chat option at the bottom. Um, if you want to just us guys, the panellists, just keep it as all panellists. If you want to swap and change it to all panellists and all attendees, so it'll go to everybody on the webinar, um, then you just need to change it on the drop down like so. Um, so I think everybody's on now. Um, so without further ado, thank you so much for coming on board and joining us again um, for the Luxury Jamaica webinar. I'm not going to say too much. Um, I'm going to hand over to Torrens, um, the King of Jamaica, who's going to tell us all about his partners that are here today to um, tell you about the hotels um, with the luxury twist. So Torrens, over to you. Thank you very much, Sarah, and good morning, everybody. And thank you to our Jamaica Luxury Cluster Partners especially Linda, who is in Montego Bay, Jamaica, who's woken up early to bring you some good news, good vibes, and a bit of an update from one of Jamaica's top luxury resorts. So I'm gonna start by welcoming you to this Jamaica Luxury webinar, and I'll share my screen and take you through a quick update and tell you why these hotels are special and why we think they're gonna be top choices for travelers post COVID. Okay, so Jamaica, heartbeat of the world. We are that place where everybody wants to be. The music, the food, the vibe really does make travelers want to come to the Caribbean, come to Jamaica and experience the hospitality that Jamaica is well known for. Can everybody see my screen? Yes. Yes, yes good. Okay. Well, the Jamaica Luxury Cluster is a cluster of hotels that share very similar values, very similar styling, and have been working together to promote themselves in the UK to the travel trade. This is really about them today and not so much about Jamaica. So for those of you who are new to travel or don't know very much about Jamaica, I'll just start by showing you where Jamaica is. We're smack bang in the center Northern Caribbean, surrounded by the Caribbean Sea, and getting to Jamaica is quite easy. It's just a 10 hour flight from the UK. But we're gonna focus mainly on what's going on in Jamaica post COVID, giving you an idea of where we are. Jamaica will reopen when it's safe to do so. We don't have a official start date for tourism yet, but once that information is available, we will share it with you through our Jamaica Rewards portal. The borders are currently closed. So as far as people arriving and departing, there is very little movement from our ports, air or sea. The COVID disease was very well managed in Jamaica and there were very limited cases. So this means Jamaica is in a good position to reopen its borders and start with international tourism. We will have a destination assurance set of protocols that will be announced shortly. And this will include what will happen at airports, what will happen at attractions, and what sort of hygiene visitors to the island can expect, not just in hotels, but across the island, wearing of face masks, regular cleaning and sanitization of public areas. Jamaica will be COVID secure. Most hotels are announcing their own protocols. Some of the hotels with us here today will give you a a rough idea of what's being planned, but look out for more information in the days and weeks ahead. But this webinar will focus mainly on the Jamaica Luxury Cluster. The Luxury Cluster are hotels that are offering something that's quite traditional, quite unique, and in many respects, sold by a special group of tour operators. They have their own e-zine, which is 
being shown here. And we've created this to assist you, the travel agent and the tour operator in communicating these special values of the Jamaica luxury cluster electronically. If you're interested in getting more information about our Jamaica luxury easy, I'm happy to share it with you after the webinar. So who are these hotels? Well, we start first with Round Hill, Jamaica Inn, Trident, G-Jam Collection, and the Island Outpost Collection. All of these hotels offer something quite special. They're often boutique type hotels and very traditional Jamaican hospitality. And what, what really makes them special in the post-COVID era will be exactly these things. Traditional Jamaican styling means they'll be perfect for physical distancing. These hotels are on large properties. They are built in an era and for a client who wants space. So there will be no issues of personal distancing if you stay in these properties. They're in iconic locations, so they remain in those beautiful natural surroundings that everybody is yearning for having been in lockdown for the last 10 weeks. Unforgettable hospitality has been a, a hallmark of the Jamaica luxury cluster. And this is being reinvented to ensure that they're COVID secure, but people will still be able to see that the hospitality being offered here is at a different level. Style and attention to detail. You'll see from the presentations today that these are unique hotels, many of them to the point where the detailing is so spectacular that nowhere else in Jamaica or nowhere else in the Caribbean can offer a similar experience. But they're also providing a secure environment. They're going to make sure that all of the sanitization that's required will be done when you have professional staff taking care of attention to detail. Often, hygiene is a priority. And highly trained staff have always been the hallmarks of the Jamaica luxury cluster of properties. And they're being retrained to ensure that they fully understand the requirements of visitors arriving in this new era. So who are they perfect for? Well, the post-COVID luxury traveler is going to want space. They're going to want a resort, a villa, a hotel, where this idea of social distancing is not going to be a constant concern. And these hotels have that space. They have large verandas. Rooms are not all boxed into a large block. They are perfect for that kind of traveler looking for space and serenity. People who have missed weddings, people who have missed birthdays, people who have missed special occasions, these are the perfect hotels to say to your clients, why not Jamaica? Why don't you choose a hotel like one in the Jamaica Luxury Cluster for a buyout or for your special occasion? They've always been great for celebrities, always been great for artists, and they'll continue to be, be so, and for VIPs. They remain the perfect choice for people who want exclusivity. And for soul searchers, having been locked away for 10 weeks, people are looking for inspiration. They wanna have a holiday, but they wanna do it in an environment where they can relax and reconnect. These hotels provide the perfect location and you will see as the presentations go on. And for multi-generational travel, they are ideal because of the way they're laid out, kind of offering that they have. And again, you'll see more of why that is. And lastly, for James Bond enthusiasts, the new Bond film hopefully will be released later this year. And Jamaica has always had a special connection with James Bond. The, the original 12 books were written at a location called GoldenEye. GoldenEye is now a resort and one of the properties in the Jamaica luxury collection. So that said, if you're a travel agent or a tour operator and you're selling these properties or will be selling these properties, we're here to help you. We have a Jamaica Rewards program, which is part of My Booking Rewards. You can join by going to www.jamaicarewards.co.uk. We have a learn and earn system where for every booking you make, we pay you a cash reward. And it gives you a chance to get on fam trip. I know most of you must be thinking fam trips are the furthest thing from your mind, but when it's safe to do so, the Jamaica Tourist Board will reintroduce fam trips 
and we do dedicated luxury fan trips just visiting these hotels and it will give you a chance to see them firsthand. We're on social, on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. You will be able to get this information from the replay of the webinar. So if you want to connect with us in that way, then it's perfect. But at this stage, we're gonna move into the properties and tell you a little bit about each of the resorts so that you can understand why we think they're perfect for travelers moving forward. We're gonna start in Port Antonio. This is a, a beautiful, unspoiled part of Jamaica where, I don't wanna to give too much away, but where that new James Bond film has been shot. We'll start first with the G-Jam collection. And this is a luxury boutique, hotel and villa collection nestled in six acres of stunning tropical rainforest. It's the sort of property that for many years has been attracting celebrities, musicians, artists, movie stars, because it provides a luxury location in a secluded, sophisticated boutique environment. This is Drum and Bass, one of their villas. This is Mento, another one of their villas. Look at that lovely, lush tropical vegetation. The rooms, the bathrooms, all are beautifully appointed, and it has its own private recording studio where artists such as Gwen Stefani, Alicia Keys, Drake, Bjork, Snoop Dogg, and Beyonce have been and recorded their own music. G Jam really is a special, spectacular location on the northeastern side of Jamaica. Part of the G Jam collection are some villas, and Villa Cocosan is one of their villas just about 500 meters from the main G Jam hotel. This is where Daniel Craig stayed. So brace yourself, have a look at the stunning accommodation he had while he was shooting the new James Bond film in Jamaica. That's it by day. This is the lovely living area. Again, the living area, the master suite bathroom, pool view suite, again, the pool view suite, and then the dining area. This is modern boutique luxury living in a part of Jamaica nestled by the Blue, Blue Mountains, which gives you serenity, inspiration, and all the personal distancing you could want on holiday. Again, the staff here are superb. They've all been retrained. And I know that Steve from GJAM is gonna be sharing some information about what they're doing with the reopening of tourism. If you did want a spa or you did want a gym on holiday, this is perfect. The villa has its own spa, its own gym, making it very easy for you to go in there and feel completely confident about what you're doing. Panorama is another one of the villas. This is another stunning one that was used by the team from the Bond film. It has its own fleet of vehicles, stunning decor, space. This would be perfect for a family or a multi-generational family. The accommodation is well appointed. It's got beautiful bathrooms, beautiful pool, and beautiful views as well. The last of their villas is the Atelier Vidal. It's part, it's owned by a Jamaican architect. And as you can see, he's brought in all of the vibes that make Jamaica cool and funky. So that's the G-Jam collection for you. It's one of those properties on the island that brings something quite special. And in this post COVID era offers space, security, and an environment where Boutique living with the Jamaican flair will be the perfect match for a client looking for something spectacular. At this point, I'm going to invite Damien Sandu from the Trident Resort in Port Antonio to share his screen and to tell you a little bit about Trident. We are gonna be on at the end to take questions. So Damien, over to you. Thank you very much, Terence. Uh, good morning, everybody. It's great to see such an amazing turnout on this, uh, this uh, Zoom call. So thank you all for joining. Uh, I'm just going to try now to share my screen. I hope, um, Terence, if you can just confirm this is visible to everybody. Yeah, I think you're coming up. Perfect. Okay. So, Yep. Here we go, guys. Is 
Sorry, bear with me. I've lost the uh, the link. <laughs> Expand the screen, Damien, and then no, no, I've got it. Right. Sharing, but you need it to go yeah. to. Yeah, dropped off. Sorry, could you bear with me a second, and I'll um, I'll bring it back up. I know uh, where to find it. And welcome, Annabelle. Hello, Torrance. How are you? Very good. <laughs> I like your background. That looks beautiful. I, you know what? I had to do it tropical. <laughs> And it looks quite real because it's flowing. <laughs> well, hey. <laughs> I like it. I hope our participants are enjoying it as well. You've got a good turnout. Well done. Yeah, you know, and as we all talk about the future and how things are going to be, one of the questions that, that, that we've been thinking about is, how is this one going to work? How is Duns River Falls going to work? Because it's a stunning, stunning attraction. But there is a certain amount of hand holding and coaching up the waterfall. So we're eager to hear what the plan is, how it's going to be that when visitors come, maybe it's be that they have to get gloves to go up, plastic gloves, or maybe they use a string system. We don't know, but these things are all being worked out yeah. and we will be able to, to share them with our travel partners in due course. But the Jamaica experience is not going to be diminished. Go for full screen now, Damon, and I think you're good to go. Yeah, that's it. It's not show. Sorry, guys. I had a little technical hitch there, but we we're back. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. The laptop's been working perfectly, and the one second I need it, it drops. <laughs> um, good morning, all again. Uh, sorry about the technical blip. Um, so, Trident Hotel in Port Antonio, Jamaica. Uh, Jamaica's um, uh, founded uh, history was actually in Port Antonio. It goes way back to the late 1900s uh, when the banana trade was the core trade of uh, Jamaica and outbound. Uh, trade going out to the US, um, headed up by Captain Lorenzo Baker, who built the first hotel, which is the Titchfield Hotel, um, 400 bedrooms, really iconic hotel of its time, um, and became very famous with the, the American market initially. So Port Antonio got known in the 1900s very well for tourism and uh, led on to, to a very buoyant time. Um, sadly, um, in the 30s, the uh, Panama disease um, destroyed the banana trades. Um, so with that left um, tourism for a while, but then was rekindled in the 1950s with the arrival of Errol Flynn. And Errol um, was hugely passionate about Jamaica his whole life and um, fell in love with Port Antonio and ended up buying the, um, the Titchfield Hotel. Um, and the 1950s then became a destination hotel for the rich and famous, so Marilyn Monroe, uh, amongst many others, um, Kathy Hepburn, who's a frequent the hotel on a very regular basis um, and use it for their holiday secret secluded destination. Um, sadly, in '69, uh, the, the building did burn down, um, but the history remains. Um, and Port Antonio um, is, is the founder of, um, source of tourism for the whole island initially, um, and also home to um, things we know well, like Boston-style cooking, um, jerk jerk cooking um, in Boston Market, which uh, is very close to our hotel property. So we have a lot on our doorstep to share. So real beautiful destination. The picture you see in front of you is our um, back facade of the hotel. So the building is very low level throughout and one thing we have in our, our favor is lots of space we just have 14 villas in the complex and very spacious public areas so with the current um, climate and situation we're working with um, with the COVID um, post-COVID um, luxury market um, we feel we're well positioned to look after the guests in terms of spacing them adequately by nature of our building you know we naturally are able to space people very significantly um, with our products so um, I'll share some of the visuals with you that will give you a good insight to that. Um, just to give you some geography before we go on to the products. Um, so in terms of location, our closest airport is Kingston, uh, serviced by British Airways. Um, there are a number of options to get over to um, the north side of the island uh, where we are. Um, one is to take a road route, which we organise luxury transfer, which is included in our, our guests' um, experience. So we take responsibility from the minute the guest arrives at the airport. Um, if you want to uh, enjoy the express um, VIP arrival, um, we can add that into the package as well. And we often include that as a, a, an additional benefit for guests when they arrive. So they're expressed through um, Kingston, they're met by a car and then driven through the Blue Mountains on a most beautiful, um, very natural road, um, I would say, um, across to Port Antonio, uh, which you can see on the, uh, the north side of the map there on the, on the right. 
Um, what I would say is if guests want to try alternatives, we have um, the option to work very closely with a helicopter company. So we can do transfers across the Blue Mountains in around 15 to 20 minutes. So that's another alternative for those guests that wish to, to um, have a, a unique and a real wow factor experience when they arrive on the island. Um, what I would say with regard to the travel is it's very convenient because the private terminal is just next to the main airport terminal at Kingston. So for guests that want an express arrival onto a helicopter and across the resort, realistically you can be through the airports and, and with us within around 45 minutes. Um, so it is quite a nice way to enjoy. Now property as we arrive, um, you can see the entrance area. That's the guest arrival point, which is our main lobby reception. Um, we have the option to room our guests as standard anyway, but we've just introduced um, a new um, uh, policy within the business that we can actually um, do a contactless rooming, um, which means we have all the guest details in advance. Uh, we will room them and keep social distance if the guests feel more comfortable. So it's all about for us keeping the guests at ease and comfortable in our environment. You can see from here, we have lots of wide open spaces. So um, personal contact can be minimized if, if that's what they prefer. Um, views over the back of the hotel, stunning outlook onto, um, onto the north of the islands, onto the ocean there, as you can see, that's our main pool ahead. Um, as you can see very clearly, there's lots of lounge spaces. Um, and bear in mind, we have 14 villas. When we're busy, you know, in full, we have 28 guests on site with a very ex extensive space. So um, distancing, as I say, isn't an issue. This is Mike's Supper Club, which is our um, restaurant. It's a fusion of um, Jamaican style traditional cooking and um, Asian cooking. Uh, we, every weekend we have a, our own um, Jamaican Mento band, so you can see the, uh, the music in the background. This part of Jamaica, as Torrance has already uh, highlighted, is um, very well known for music, as is all of the island, but in particular here we have um, a Ferrari red um, Steiner uh, piano in the, in the rear of the picture. Um, and we the band to um, entertain guests every week and it's, a, it's become a local attraction as well, so you do get a good following here. For less casual dining, we have our brasserie. Uh, the brasserie um, overlooks the, the um, north face of the uh, property. Again, it's uh, social dining during the day. It's very casual. We serve breakfast here, lunch throughout the day. Uh, very flexible outside space. Enjoy the sunshine first thing in the morning, um, breakfast time. It's particularly beautiful. Our time bar, um, in terms of a range of beautiful cocktails. Um, we have our signature cocktails in the business that we're all known for um, and enjoyed by guests on a regular basis. Um, and part of our warm welcome to the property. And then lounges, if guests do want to escape the sun for a period of time or um, have a bit of recreational time, um, we've got a beautiful library area and lounges. Um, you can see again, lots of space. So the ability to, um, to distance uh, comfortably really isn't an issue um, for people that stay with us. We also have a cinema, so we do private screenings. Um, we can offer this uh, privately for guests or for small groups. Uh, we do a lot of music videos. Um, Damien Marley's video is very popular here. The filming was done at Our Trident Castle, so um, we, we've done a lot of um, private screenings within this space. Um, so all guests are welcome to enjoy this while they're on property at Trident. And on to the, the villas. So each of the villas you can see um, uh, self-contained uh, facilities. This is looking um, from the ocean side towards the villa. Um, so each one has a garden. Um, all of them have an, a private uh, plunge infinity pool um, and outside seating areas. There's outside dining within the villa, uh, and we do, um, as a part of our offering, um, offer in-room dining um, as part of the experience. Um, and the idea being that if guests do want to um, have a room experience and be secluded, they certainly can. Certainly something Trident is known for is the ability to completely um, have a, an immersed environment of your own. If you don't wish to be in a, in a holiday environment with other people, the villas enable you to have complete privacy. Um, we can service everything to the villa. Um, and they have beautiful views, you can see straight onto the, um, the north side ocean of, uh, of Jamaica. Um, we're surrounded by the most beautiful rock line um, and you get the, the coastal, the sound of the coastal waves all day long, which is a really um, relaxing, um, relaxing back sound. Pool areas you can see here. Bedrooms again, um, all of our rooms are one double bedroom. Uh, we have a number of combination villas where you can link rooms together for families. Um, so they can be uh, either two or three bedroom. Um, each one of the villas, as you can see here, has very large open spaces, huge beds, um, all onto the garden areas outside, um, plenty of lounge space in each of the villas as well, all beautifully air conditioned. Um, but again, these are generally sort of couples to occupy, so um, distancing is really not an issue. Bathrooms are, have an inside and outside shower, and some also have an outside bath. 
for those that like, like sociable bathing. Um, and then we have a um, beautiful outlook here, as you can see, towards the end of the day, looking out onto the rock line with infinity pools in the, in the bedrooms. We have a full gym facility, um, very extensive. Our owner, Michael Lee Chin, is, is very pro-fitness, um, which has been a benefit for guests because he put a huge amount of investment into the, uh, the gym and the spa, um, and he regularly visits the hotel. Um, gym facilities are second to none. We have a really spacious gym. We've just introduced um, further cleaning processes with the gym. So if guests are using it, it's cleaned now after every guest visit. Um, so cleaning down the cleansing of all equipment as standard um, policy throughout the whole hotel. And then past the villas, we have this um, private beach area. So you walk through this beautiful archway here and leads onto our private beach, which is at the end of the, the villas. Um, we have our own little secluded cove area with shallow waters. It's perfect for um, very casual bathing, um, easy to swim, um, no undercurrents. So um, children are also very welcome and, and very safe. Um, and the area you can see to the back of the picture there is a private bar and um, restaurant area that we open um, for dining events. Um, we have very flexible dining here, so guests are welcome to come down to the beach area and have a dinner in the evening. We can bring the whole experience there. We do regular barbecues. Um, and there have been occasions when all guests have been on the beach and we've moved the entire resort experience to the beach. Um, so it's very flexible. The thing to point out with Trident is it's all about the guest experience and the individuality. Um, so it's about making it tailor-made for um, each, each guest's expectations. Um, so by nature, we, we like to serve the guest in a, in a very special way. So every experience becomes their own. And then by night, just watching the sun go down, probably one of the most beautiful times of day. I feel at the, um, at the resort, that's our main pool area overlooking the oceans. We have an infinity pool there, as you can see, calm waters, um, sitting on one of these um, beautiful decks, um, watching the sun at the end of the day with a cocktail is the way to end the day at Trident for sure. And that's a nice shot of the, the back of the hotel looking onto the main pool area and the main building. Thank you all very much. Brilliant, thank you, Damien. Okay, we're gonna introduce our, our guest from Jamaica. Linda Lawrence is the Director of Sales at the Round Hill Hotel. She's woken up to be with us to bring you some personal insight to what it's like being in a resort hotel and tell you about the beautiful Round Hill along with their UK representative, Max Chanturio. So over to you, Linda and Max. Thank you so much. Linda, if, you're, if you don't mind, shall I start yes. a brief presentation on round? Certainly, Max. Go ahead and good morning to everyone from Jamaica. Very good morning to everyone from London and from Jamaica. Uh, <laughs> Torrance and Sarah, thank you so much for organizing the webinar and thanks everybody for joining us today. Um, let me try and share our presentation. So as I mentioned, I will briefly talk about the about beautiful Round Hill and then Linda will update us all on uh, any measure that will be taken as, as, as soon as the hotel will be open with regards to COVID-19. But um, um, let, let me start from the very beginning. So Round Hill is one of the top luxury properties in the Caribbean and we are also one of the oldest hotels in the Caribbean. Um, we were uh, founded in the early 50s. I always say the Holy Trinity in Jamaica. We have Jamaica in Half Moon and Round Hill, all three properties, very luxurious, very iconic, were launched in the early 50s. Um, uh, as we know, Jamaica is in Ocherias, Half Moon is near to Montego Bay, and we are right near to Montego Bay as well. So we are in between Montego Bay to, and Negril. So 20, 25 minutes, from Montego Bay Airport towards Negril. And this, this is the entire hotel. So the entire peninsula is ours. This is Round Hill. We have a beautiful 26 villas, private villas dotting on the hill. And here, right on the beach, there is a plantation style pineapple house. This is where we have our rooms. Um, so there are actually two categories at the hotel. We have rooms and private villas, but the villas can be split into suites. I will talk about it a bit later. And then on both sides of the hill, you have gorgeous, beautiful uh, Jamaican large tropical um, uh, forest, I would say. So it's, a, it, it's a, like a piece of nature right on other peninsula. The views from, from, from the villas are just stunning because you're facing west. So the most gorgeous sunsets from your villas and from your rooms 
from, from the entire property, from your restaurant or from the beach. As I said, it's 25 minutes from the airport. It's very easy to get to from London as well. We don't know whether we will be flying from Gatwick, but as, uh, hopefully we will be flying from London, but Gatwick or Heathrow Torrance will be keeping, will be keeping us uh, in the loop with regards to the flights. Um, and this is Round Hill Beach, it's right here, which is very private and got plenty of space. Uh, this is our reception, an old plantation house, which is right on the beach. Um, a little bit of history and name dropping, if I may, Linda. Um, it's been a favorite place of the Kennedy. So Jacqueline Kennedy and JFK stayed with us. And uh, JFK even uh, wrote his um, acceptance speech at Round Hill. Uh, the uh, Princess Margaret, she um, learned how to water ski at Round Hill, great scale, etc. So over the 60 years, we've attracted quite a lot of celebrities, politicians, artists, big names. Uh, and of course, a list of the um, awards we've received. Of, these are just the recent ones. Um, as I mentioned in the beginning, we've got 36 rooms oceanfront. Uh, all rooms are designed by Ralph Lauren. And Ralph Lauren actually got two villas on property. So you can see him quite often at the hotel. So he got two villas on property. The design in all the rooms is done by him. And the rooms can be interconnected. So this is ideal for small families or for couples. It's a very much in Ralph Lauren style, as you can see. We are not competing here with the nature, calm colors, dark Jamaican bamboo and mahogany. And we are not promoting any TV concept on, at the hotel. So this is your TV, a beautiful view of the Caribbean Sea. So there are no TVs in our rooms. In some villas you will have a, a TV set, but no, not in the rooms. Um, another shot, this is a twin room. Again, beautiful view, a family, a, a beautiful view of the Caribbean Sea. Gorgeous bathrooms, all very traditional, but renovated. So uh, before COVID, before the crisis, we were always clothing for the entire month of September uh, so, that, so that we could renovate the property. And you know, even when my agent asked me, Max, when was the last time the hotel, well, what, what, which year the hotel was renovated? I could never answer that question because it's renovated on an ongoing basis. So every month of September. Uh, and these are our gorgeous villas. We have, uh, as I mentioned, um, 26 villas from two up to six bedrooms. They're very private um, and they're quite, quite large as well. So there is plenty Plenty of privacy, plenty of space, and it's ideal for the, for the social distance right now after the crisis because you can get the entire villa. So it looks like a small boutique hotel within a hotel. The villas are stuck, you have your own personnel there. If you need to go down to the beach, you can just walk through the gardens or on the main road down to the beach, or you can call our butters and they will come with a golf buggy and pick you up. Those villas, this is, this is I believe, a six bedroom villa. We can split into three suites and suite. So if you don't have budget, so you, your group is not as big to have a large six bedroom villa, you can always book a, a suite within a villa with your private access, private swimming pool. And uh, about, about two years ago, I stayed in one of the villas and I was, I didn't even realize that I was sharing it with somebody else. So it's very nicely divided. And as I mentioned, each, each couple or each guest will have his or her own access to the villa, private access to the villa. Stunning views, again, lush gardens. And I always say we're not competing with the nature at Round Hill. It's all very Jamaican. It's all beautiful. Uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 the woodwork, the, uh, the, the guy, every, everything is, or most of it is done by Jamaican craftsmen on, uh, on the island. Uh, it can be all completely open. So this is one of the bedrooms in one of the villas with a private swimming pool and of course a beautiful garden. But we, of course, when it's too hot, you can just close everything and switch on an air call like all our American friends would do. But Europeans prefer to open it and have a fan on. Beautiful bathroom. So even with regards to bathroom, you can have an alfresco bathing experience, I would always say. So there are bathrooms outside and of course inside as well. And this is the villa where JFK um, wrote his acceptance speech. So this is uh, their villas where they used to stay when, when at Round Hill. Again, look at those private swimming pools. And I wanted to show you, this is a patio. This is not even a living area 
in the in the villa. This is something what you have outside. It's all at Round Hill. It's all about, and I think it's very important, especially now moving forward. Uh, it's very important to mention that it's all about outside living at Round Hill. Gorgeous patios, gorgeous terraces swimming pools, large gardens, which are quite fast. So it's not a little garden that you would have in your villa. It's very large and very big. And of course, it's extremely private as well because you would never see or hear anybody from a nearby villa. And this is how you would have your breakfast at Round Hill. Stunning views. And um, the staff will come in the morning. They have their own quarter. There is a room, a kitchen, and, 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 and a special area for the staff where they would gather and make a wonderful Jamaican, or you name it, it's on request breakfast for you and your family. But also moving forward, we will be also doing in villa dining uh, experience. So you could have lunch, we can arrange dinners in our villas, but also barbecue parties. So it is all up to you and on request, we'll be happy to, to facilitate it for your guests, for your clients. Right on the top, I always like to mention it, right on the top of the hill, we have gorgeous organic gardens where we grow whatever we grow there. These are vegetables, herbs, and some fruit as well. It will always end up on your table in a restaurant or in a villa. And this is our, um, one of the best chefs, I, might, I may say that in the Caribbean, Chef Martin Maginley, who um, built up his career with four seasons all over the world and now we are so delighted to have him on property and his main concept is of course clean Caribbean cuisine so he elevated the Caribbean the Jamaican cuisine to another level and uh, uh, I mean the, 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 the dining experience in Round Hill in one, what is one of, the, one of the best in the Caribbean right now so it's all about organic but also authentic it's very Jamaican when you are at Round Hill you can sense it straight away um, two beautiful restaurants and again talking about distancing as you can see all those images were taken uh, of course we, we took those images prior to, to, to any crisis that hit us recently there's plenty of space and Linda will update you more on on how we're going to move forward and this is another restaurant the grill which is also designed by Ralph Lauren again the views are stunning and it's all about Jamaica it's all about the Caribbean Sea and large gardens at Round Hill um, because of the great connection with Great Britain, I always like to mention that at every day at four o'clock we have afternoon tea ceremony. So it's an afternoon tea uh, on a terrace at Round Hill with plenty of space overlooking the sea and you have most gorgeous scones, lemonades, uh, sandwiches, you name it. It's a very nice, um, very nice touch, I believe, and guests love it very much. And uh, it is free of charge, but we are not charging for that. We have three gorgeous bars. Two, one bar is on the beach, another by the main pool. And this is my favorite place. This is the most elegant place. So one of the most elegant places at Round Hill. My favorite bars, the most tastiest martinis I've ever had. Lots of history on the walls you can see there. So sometimes after a couple of martinis, you just go and see who stayed with us. And I, I, I love to, to look in, into that and to feel to feel to be a part of it and as you can see the mirror behind the bartender so the bar is facing the ocean so you can you can you can see at the bar and and, and look at the um, at the beautiful nature also near to the main bay that we have we have a beautiful area which is uh, adults only plenty of space again so kids are i wouldn't say not a lot but this is adults obviously it's, it says it. it. So this is for adults only. This is an old plantation house which is converted into LMS spa with a beautiful swimming pool and we have also uh, pavilions here for yoga, pilates and uh, most state-of-the-art gym as you can see. This is the gym with a view. Stunning gym and um, let me just show you if you don't want to be inside, you can, you can have exercise, of course, in one of the pavilions or on the lawn. And this is the top yoga instructor, Donovan. We can arrange yoga sessions and Pilates, of course, in the villa. So you don't need to come all the way down, well, all the way, just two minutes walk. But you don't need to come down to the gym area. Donovan will come up, up to your villa and do the session, which is, which is fantastic. Every time I'm in Jamaica, I'm with Donovan doing my yoga on the beach. Main swimming pool, it's an infinity pool. Uh, um, and 
I wanted to show you our beach. The beach is fantastic. It's a little bit shallow in the beginning. So if you have families with little kids, it's ideal. So after maybe one, two meters, it becomes a bit deeper so you can swim. So it's ideal for families, but also it's ideal for people who, who prefer to have a proper swim. And this is also moving forward because of the situation with COVID. What I wanted to mention is that even when we have almost or fully booked in January, right? During, during Christmas, we have plenty of space in the, on the beach because lots of people are staying you know, in the villas by their pools or by the main pool. So there is plenty of space, plenty of sunbeds, so you will never come and sit overcrowded. So probably this picture was taken in Chris, during Christmas. But uh, um, so, as I said, plenty of space for distancing. We have our own coral reef gardens. We help local scientists to grow gardens. It's about 150 meters from Round Hill Shore and moving forward. Uh, as from the next, from the upcoming seasons, we'll be able to, to offer snorkeling um, um, activities in that area. It's really beautiful. When you dive there, I, I might send you, if you, if you would like to have it, send you some images. It, it does look like Maldives sometimes, or Cayman Islands. It's really, really beautiful. And we have Kids Club on property, of course, which is free of charge, which is very important. And the nanny services are, uh, also very cost-effective option. So if you would like to have dinner in one of the restaurants or go off-site, you can always arrange a nanny, which is about 10 US dollars per hour. Fabulous tennis courts, and they've been just renovated last year with hard true uh, cover. I'm not a tenniser, but if somebody's playing tennis, they would know that it's one of the state-of-the-art um, floors uh, for the tennis court. So it's good for your joints, good for your for your well-being in general. And we are just 10 minutes from one of the best golf courses in the Caribbean. This is Trial. We have special deals, special rates with them. And we also provide um, um, complimentary transfers uh, to the golf course. So why we, we were relocated ideally for golfers as well, even though we don't have our own golf course. But if you have golfers, the Villa product is ideal for them because it's 10 minutes to trial. And then if they want to go to cinema, to play Cinnamon Hill, White Witch, or Half Moon Golf Course, it's about 25, 30 minutes towards Montego Bay. So you are in between the best golf courses in the Caribbean at Round Hill. If I may, I'll just skip this. And I would like, I don't have a lot of time right now. Linda, would you like to interject and tell us more about what measures that we're going to take moving forward at Round Hill? Certainly. As Torin said, um, we don't have an official open date as yet for the island for tourism. Um, but um, the Ministry of Health and various government agencies are working on the protocols for all the tourism entities. And um, for us at Round Hill, um, we're closely aligned to that project also. And we are now um, working on our protocols for when we reopen. Um, needless to say, um, we, we, we will not be reopening in the next couple of months or so. We're gonna take our time and we don't anticipate a reopening um, before September for us. But some of the things that we're doing is that um, we're working with Ecolab, which is a global leader in hygienic technologies and hospitality and other industries. And they provide environmentally friendly and sustainable practice um, in the cleaning of, of, of the hotels. and um, they have developed an EPA approved chemical, which is um, peroxide based and environmental friendly that we have incorporated um, in our cleaning procedures. Um, we're ensuring that we have you know, personal protective equipment for all our staff. And um, we will be focusing on frequently cleaning um, the high touch areas, the public areas, make sure the remotes and really have a, the SOPs and the manuals and definitely um, do a lot of retraining with the staff to ensure that all these practices are covered. Um, we're already practicing social distancing with the staff and um, if that's still a factor come September, then certainly we'll have the protocols in place um, where staff and guests are, are concerned. You know, Services like turn down will be optional for a guest 
and based on request because we're going to try and limit the amount of time um, our staff will spend um, in the guest rooms. We'll also give them optional times for cleaning of their rooms to ensure that, you know, they're out of the rooms um, when the staff is in there cleaning the rooms. Um, on the food and beverage um, standpoint, you know, of course, we will eliminate all buffets. You know, we usually have a breakfast buffet in the morning. We'll ensure that there's ample distancing in between the seating um, of our guests. Um, we do have the dining in the villas and, you know, for persons who may want to have all of their meals catered in the villas, we will provide the services of a chef. I mean, the, the villas already come staffed with a cook, housekeeper, your gardeners and so on. Uh, but if you want to have all your meals catered, we will um, have the services of a chef um, available. So these are just some of the things that we're doing. It's not, you know, finalized 100% as yet. Um, as soon as it's finalized, we will have a document that we'll share with all of our partners. And um, and just to reiterate, as Torin said at the beginning, that, you know, our, our leaders, um, we have done, um, you know, a fairly good job in mitigating the impact of the of the virus on the island. You know, we've put in all the restrictions early and, um, you know, we're continuing to manage the situation and monitor. And both Max and myself are available. Um, if you have any questions, um, you know, we're always, you know, available to, to talk to you and, and answer your questions. Yeah, Thank and you. also if you're planning to visit Jamaica next year, please let us know. We'll be happy to, to show you around and to welcome you at Roundwood. Right. Whilst the resort is closed, our reservations and our sales department is still open and has remained open. And we have our staff that, that are answering the phone and responding to emails. Thank you so much, Linda, for getting up and sharing with us firsthand what's happening on resort in Jamaica. Jamaica aims to be COVID secure for its visitors. And we know that the hotels in the luxury cluster are going to be doing the utmost to ensure that they are at the forefront of this. I want to introduce Ashley Sanchez now from the Jamaica Inn, another member of our cluster, to tell you about this stunning boutique hotel in Ocherias. Over to you, Ashley. You've got to unmute first of all. That would help, wouldn't it? <laughs> we can hear you now. Um, firstly, I just want to start before I share my screen, just to say thanks, Torrance, for arranging this um, fantastic webinar, um, getting to speak to our agents again and, and, you know, getting what we do love and talking about these incredible properties. So, so thank you, firstly. So let me start sharing my screen. Can everybody see that? Yep, yeah, fantastic. Um, so I'm Ashley, I am the sales and marketing manager for the South for um, Essential Detail. Um, I actually represent nine um, luxury bo boutique hotels across the Caribbean. Um, but today I've got the great privilege of talking about our gorgeous property, Jamaica Inn. Jamaica Inn, um, this intimate, elegant hideaway is located in Ocherias, which is on the north coast of the island on a stunning private cove. Um, we have an offshore reach, um, reef with over seven foot, uh, 700 foot of soft, sandy beach. Um, it's peace and quiet, it's re uh, relaxing um, and kind of touching on the COVID point, the perfect getaway for all of your guests. So let's just talk about the history of Jamaica Inn. This hotel is simply iconic. It's been one of the best loved hotels in the Caribbean since the 1950s. Um, and like Max, I'm going to drop some, um, some celebrity names um, there as well. Um, it's been under the same family ownership for over 60 years. Um, and we have been fortunate enough to have guests like Marilyn Monroe, Arthur Miller, and even Winston Churchill, um, which, you know, is absolutely incredible and they used to spend their holidays here back in the 50s. So let's talk about our rooms if this wants to work. Sorry guys. Some images there just obviously from uh, Marilyn Monroe etc. 
So let's talk about this stunning property and its property, um, and its uh, rooms. So Jamaica Inn is an all suite hotel with 55 accommodations ranging from suites, bungalows and exclusive private cottages. All the suites here have sea views and they're famous open air spaces with huge furnishings, verandas and a very much fully open air living room. So let's talk about the veranda suite. The premium veranda suites are located either right on the beach or directly above the water overlooking the absolutely stunning Caribbean Sea. You can also opt for private dining served by a course in the comfort of your own suite here. So again, touching on that private dining experience, kind of the isolation, that one-on-one -on -one time you and your family can get as well. The beach bungalow. These spacious bungalows are a new addition to the property and located on the eastern side of the hotel. They have their own exclusive patch of beach. Um, they also have their own sitting rooms, kitchenette and outdoor veranda. So again, touching on the perfect part of privacy as well whilst you're on holiday. Now, I would say this is the creme de la creme of the accommodation at Jamaica Inn. Um, and these are actually quite famous. These are our famous cottages. Um, these cottages are simply spectacular. Many of them have been refurbished and are popular within groups, families and older children. Children over 10 are allowed at this hotel. So again, just bear that in mind. We can hold up to four people and have four and, and four also have their own private pools and spectacular views. These are really decorated very well and they also have like an authentic Jamaica style which is kind of seen throughout these properties. Um, just touching on cottage number seven, this is the premium suite here and it's more like a villa set over two stories. It's got an amazing infinity pool um, with stairs that lead down to the Caribbean Sea um, and it's also got panoramic views with a huge um, bathroom and a walk-in wardrobe. So if you want to splash out, this is definitely the place to kind of go and, and do that. So let's talk about the dining at Jamaica Inn and our board basis. Our meal plan options here range from bed and breakfast, half board and all inclusive, which includes a dine around option. Again, really kind of catering for your client and what your client wants. Um, you can dine at one of our four restaurants in Ocho Rios and up to two times during your stay. So again, a huge variety and the food here is absolutely second to none. The main restaurant here, um, as you can see, this is the beautiful terrace. I mean, who would not want to be sitting there having a, a lovely meal? Again, absolutely phenomenal. And along here are two bars. So if you have been fortunate enough to visit Jamaica Inn, you will be familiar with uh, one of our bars um, and the gentleman behind it called Teddy. Um, now, Teddy has actually been at this um, hotel for the, the duration of its opening um, and passed away, unfortunately, a few months ago. Um, but obviously, with his long standing in jeopardy, um, his mem uh, memory will be kind of um, throughout the hotel. And this bar has been named after him as well, which is, again, a really nice touch as well. Jamaica Inn's breakfast has been one, um, voted one of the best kept secrets as well and it can be enjoyed in the restaurant or on your pirate terrace or even in a floating tray in your plunge board, you can see an image there. So again, so, like a wonderful, wonderful idea as well. So let's talk about Jamaica's in recently refurbished Ocean Spa. This is set on the cliff edge. Again, as you can see the beautiful view there, overlooking the sea and has a natural, a, a new, natural saltwater pool and guests can choose from a wide range of uh, treatments as well using locally sourced ingredients. Again escape to that private beach, I mean private is kind of really key here at this property here, you can um, walk around in the ambience of your own company. Um, this beach is absolutely stunning as well, really really popular. So again weddings, um, the hotel has a number of um, different kind of um, activities here and weddings being um, one of them. So we can also um, um, offer a, an intimate party for two, um, also up to, you know, kind of more extravagant um, celebrations with up to 100 guests. Um, and Jamaica will make sure that each wed wedding is kind of your own. They'll piece together, we're attentive, and staff will really focus on the detail. So again, if you've got any customers that, you know, want to get married abroad, I really would recommend this. 
So conservation, um, conservation here is really kind of something we are specialised in. Um, the most per, uh, popular uh, kind of haunt here is the turtle hatching and every year Hawksbill turtles nest and hatch on the beach uh, which takes place every single summer and guests can see tiny turtles hatching and make their way into the sea. Our hotel is passionate about protecting these beautiful creatures and can actually have their um, uh, turtle project uh, kind of integrated within the, pro uh, the hotel as well. We've trained staff members to keep track of the turtle numbers and these have um, increased over the years uh, and we have now seen over 16,000 turtles annually. So from September to November, if you want to see some of these turtles hatching, that's the time to kind of head over to Jamaica in as well. We pride ourselves so much on the staff. We touched on, um, you know, kind of um, Teddy earlier um, within the bar area. Um, the staff here truly are a credit to the, the success of this boutique hotel. Um, we are um, long standing and one of the top reasons guests return year after year. Um, and when you read those TripAdvisor reviews, you will see how often staff are mentioned by name. Um, they truly leave a friendship value um, when you go and you, you stay here. So again, it's such a great thing. Um, and then you'll see a little picture of uh, Shadow. Shadow is the uh, hotel dog um, and he is a true favourite um, here at the, at the property. So um, some of the summer promotions that uh, we I kind of want to touch on as well. Um, again, um, we, like Linda mentioned, we actually don't have an opening date. Um, we hope to have this over the coming weeks. Um, so fingers crossed, um, we get to get to welcome our first guests shortly. Um, but just touching on those those offers. Um, all offers can be booked through various different tour operators um, or can be booked through uh, directly with Jamaica Inn. Um, we've, we've got a summer escape, which is obviously saving up to an additional 5%. Uh, the booking windows are there. We've also got a full, um, fall into, uh, uh, sorry, I beg your pardon, fall into savings, which is a UK bonus, which is $150 food and beverage credit for um, each of our guests staying. Um, and then we also have a, a Caribbean spirit um, for next year as well. So anybody that kind of wants that information, I'll happily share with you guys after as well. Um, and then COVID, um, the pandemic and what we kind of have done here at Jamaica Inn. Um, our customers are at the forefront of what we do. Um, so we have put a pinwheel of safety protocols in place for all of our guests. And this does include staff. Again, I happily will send this through, but I'll just touch on um, what we have put in place. So staff uh, will have daily health screenings. This will include temperature checks, frequent sanitation, uh, etc. So no problems there. Cleanliness, social distance, your experience when you arrive, our food and beverage, amenities um, and along with our response and, and uh, protocols as well. So we have put all of this in place. So rest assured your customer will be able to travel here in, with peace of mind as well. So again, I won't go too much into these details, but you know, anybody that wants to see these, um, this pinwheel, please let me know and I will happily send this over um, as well. Um, so lastly, um, let's talk about becoming an EDE agent um, and what's in it for you and what's in it for your guests. Uh, we have a complete travel uni online. Um, once you've made any bookings with us, that's across our collection of nine hotels, please log it with us. Um, we'll get you to get on an educational, um, dedicated fam trips uh, that could be to Jamaica Inn um, as well as our other properties. We offer a come and stay program as well. There's booking rewards, so you'll get Amazon vouchers. And then, you know, kind of a really nice touch. Any of your customers that do stay at Jamaica Inn, please let us know. And when they arrive, we will put a note in the room from yourself, along with a bottle of wine as well. So again, a really nice touch for your clients. Um, and finally, anybody that wants any information, any additional training, manuals, um, maps, etc., or even be able to watch a video around Jamaica Inn, again, please pop over to our website, essentialdetail.co.uk, and you could obtain all of this information. You can share this as much as you like, obviously, with your colleagues as well as your guests as well. 
so I'll leave it there. Thanks ever so much. Um, I, I really look forward to kind of welcoming um, you guys kind of over the next few weeks um, and seeing a lot more kind of happening within the, within the travel industry. So thanks again. Thanks, Ashley. Uh, for our agents and tour operator partners who are on, you can see Jamaica is being reinventing itself, making sure that all the COVID protocols are being put in place across the hotels and we will have more information for you about the destination assurance program going forward. But at this point now, I want to introduce Annabelle Griffin from the Island Outpost Group, who is going to tell you about her properties, their unique boutique funky feel, and what's happening there to ensure everybody who visits is COVID secure. Thanks again, Ashley. Over to you, Annabelle. Thank you, Torrance. Um, okay, I've got Ashley's screen on, so I need to share my screen, don't I? Uh, so can you just You've got to unshare now, please? Ashley. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Uh, so here we go. This is. Let me get this up. Oopsie daisy. Okay. Can everybody see my screen? Is that good? Yeah. Fantastic. Um, Hello everybody, um, this, is, this is our first luxury cluster webinar, um, it's uh, in this new environment, um, it would be lovely to see you all but sadly I can't see everybody but um, I hope you're all well and all getting through this uh, very uncertain time at the moment and hopefully we'll have some better news from our market from Boris on Thursday. Um, I would absolutely love to be in Jamaica right now having seen everybody's presentations um, I, I just wish I was sitting on that beach or one of those beaches they all the hotels are lovely and uh, and, and it's a very difficult choice um, but I'm delighted uh, to be presenting on Island Outpost uh, properties to you, um, which are really exciting, fun, vibrant properties uh, in Jamaica. Um, Jamaica, as you can see, is an absolutely beautiful island in the Caribbean. It's actually quite a large island compared to a lot of the other islands in the Caribbean. And uh, we are located uh, at Goldeneye in the north uh, by Orica Bessa. Uh, it's 10 minutes from the Ian Fleming Airport. So if any of you have clients that have private jets that want to come into Jamaica on a private jet, then they can easily uh, you know, come to the Ian Fleming uh, Airport and be 10 minutes from GoldenEye. Uh, we also have uh, an airport in Kingston and Montego Bay. And in uh, the south, we have a lovely property near to Kingston Airport called Strawberry Hill. And then over to the other side of the island by Montego Bay, we have a lovely property in the grill called The Caves. Um, so you've got a selection of three island outpost properties if your clients want to really experience the vibrancy and the diversity of, um, of Jamaica. So this is the little map of GoldenEye, um, which is quite a very, very exciting property. Um, it, I'm, I'm very, very fortunate to be representing this hotel because it is really stunning um, and really very, very unique. Obviously, it's got its, its namesake from um, Ian Fleming and the whole James Bond um, sort of scenario with Ian Fleming originally living here and it's where he penned all his James Bond novels so um, it's very very exciting Ian Fleming was brilliantly influenced by Jamaica thought the island was absolutely stunning and uh, was very much inspired at here so I'm going to show you uh, GoldenEye in the hotel, but also there's an opportunity to see the Ian Fleming Villa, um, which is very exciting. And again, guests can reside in the Fleming Villa. Um, so if you've got any clients who would prefer to have a villa holiday, um, then this is quite a special option. Um, this, this is just some of the views and the scenes of GoldenEye. Um, we have, uh, starting in our um, lowest room category, these beautiful beach huts. We have 26 of these beach huts that were built a few, a couple of years ago now. And we really were promoting these beach huts to the sort of honeymoon market um, because the price point we felt was very good. It's sort of starting at about, in low season, 400 US net 
a night. Um, and so hopefully it's, it's a fairly decent rate for a very aspirational luxury five-star um, boutique property to encourage sort of the younger market to come and stay with us. Um, this is the one bedroom beach hut with an open air dune, really stunning. Um, and I think what I love about all the Island Outpost properties, as you can see, they're all, they've all got something a little bit different about them. Um, so these lagoon cottages are absolutely fabulous, really exciting. They all come with their own private dock, so you can have your own private kayak and kayak around the resort, uh, which is really fun. Um, all, these rooms also have a lovely outdoor area for a, a sort of bath and shower area, um, as well as indoors as well. So they are quite unique and quite special. And as you can see, 72, uh, 720 square feet, they're really, really spacious as well. Um, and beautiful views of the, of the lagoon, um, which is really stunning. Uh, we have six one-bedroom villas right on the beach. Uh, again, these have um, a beautiful sitting area at the front, a lovely bedroom, a lovely bathroom, um, and also a lovely outside sort of bath and shower area. Uh, they also have fully fitted kitchens. So if you've got families, uh, these are probably ideal for families because uh, they can obviously prepare anything themselves in the fully fitted kitchens as well if they wish to do so. Uh, and then we have two bedroom beach villas as well, uh, which can sleep up to six people. So fantastic for families and right on the beach, very, very safe and secure and really beautiful settings. And as you can see, the interior design is really fun. It's really authentic. It's really natural um, and, and really vibrant too. We have an assortment of other sort of uh, accommodations as well. We have this lovely two bedroom lagoon villa and we also have uh, a couple of other three bedroom villas as well as obviously the Fleming Villa. Um, but this is the beautiful setting that it's all situated on. This is low key, um, at, which is this little private island you can see just off the, off the sandy beach. Uh, this is a fantastic little setting if you have an anniversary or a proposal or even a wedding. We can set it up with a lovely barbecue and drinks and, uh, and put fairy lights and it looks very romantic. So it's a really nice um, place to be. Um, we have three swimming pools and three beaches um, at uh, GoldenEye. So it's, it's very, very spacious. And as you can see on the beach, these are the lovely beach villas. Um, so great access uh, for families and, and couples alike. Uh, we have three restaurants at this property. This is the Bizu Bar, which I love. It's got lovely driftwood, vibrant uh, colours. And uh, the owner of this property is a gentleman called Chris Blackwell, who used to be um, the owner of Island Records. Uh, and he sold the business a number of years ago now, but his passion is still music. And on the walls, you can see a lot of his record labels. So he was responsible for find, founding a wonderful um, people like Bob Marley, Grace Jones, you too. And there's a very much a wonderful vibe at this property um, as a result of that too. Um, obviously this is, this is a wonderful swimming pool. It's got a big sort of eye uh, in the middle of the pool and it's a salt water pool. But if, you can, if you're in a helicopter or can see from up above, it's absolutely stunning. We don't have a sort of fully equipped gym as such at GoldenEye, but we have this lovely uh, area called Playscape. Uh, and this is where you can do, have a gym workout um, and they've got lots of sort of obstacles and things like that. They've got two outdoor areas where you can actually um, have a good fitness regime, um, which is really nice and, uh, and really worth doing. This is uh, a gazebo restaurant, which is their fine dining restaurant. Uh, this is open seven nights a week and we have beautiful international food, but also great Jamaican uh, food as well. Uh, we also have a wonderful bar there for lovely cocktails. And at night you have to walk over this wonderful bridge, which you can see in the background is all lit up with fairy lights. So it's just got a very romantic, uh, beautiful setting. Um, there's a beautiful private lagoons and in between we've got this lovely Shabin bar at the top. It's a brilliant setting for sunsets. Uh, we have light snacks here 
This is situated by the beach huts. Um, so again, they've got lots of lovely areas where you can play games uh, for kids and families. Um, there's also sort of table tennis and, and, and things like that too. So this is the roof terrace where they have the most lovely sunsets uh, and where we really recommend clients to go in the evening and watch those sunsets. Jamaica just seems to have absolutely stunning uh, sunsets, which we're really blessed with. Um, and this is lovely little beach called Button Beach. This is right by all the beach huts. Uh, we also have just built a brand new dive centre, which is lovely. And they're very much uh, into the conservation of coral at GoldenEye. Uh, they've got an Oracabessa foundation where they also are looking after all the fish. And so actually the diving is really very beautiful. Um, so if you've got clients that would like to go diving, they can do that. Um, we also have this beautiful spa. Uh, this actually used to be Naomi Campbell's home, believe it or not. And we've converted it into this lovely spa with three treatment rooms um, and they're overlooking the lagoon. So it's a really relaxing, lovely place to have a spa treatment as well. Um, again, it feels beautiful. You've got the natural breezes coming into the spa um, and lovely products called Field Spa, which they've again, created for themselves um, from the island and also all the beautiful products on the island. Uh, we again do lovely uh, things like such as daily yoga and pilates uh, and we have a tennis court so if people want to play tennis they can. We've got a brilliant um, water sports team with lovely water sports so again there's lots of activities to do at uh, GoldenEye as well as just completely chill out and relax which I think people will certainly need after the end of this uh, awful pandemic crisis that we're going through. Now this is very exciting this is the Fleming Villa uh, this is where Ian Fleming used to live it's on its own private beach um, and this is the desk where Ian Fleming used to pen all his wonderful James Bond uh, novels. And this is actually his, his bedroom as well. Uh, this villa has beautiful gardens. It's a lovely place uh, to sit and have a gorgeous dinner. Uh, again, if guests um, aren't staying in the Fleming villa, villa itself and they are staying in the rest of the hotel, if it's available and people would like to have a private tour of the Ian Fleming Villa, it's a beautiful thing to do. And we can create a couple of evenings a week, we We'll do drinks there for guests, um, which is really exciting. Um, the villa actually um, sleeps up to 10 guests. It has five bedrooms and five bathrooms and its own swimming pool. And where you can see this big sort of building on the left, this is, was um, Ian Fleming's garage. They've turned it into a brilliant media room with a floor to ceiling TV. They've got a cocktail bar in there. So it's really beautiful. So now you can watch the latest James Bond movie um, in Ian Fleming's original home, drinking a martini, which is shaken, not stirred, of course, and really, really charming. So if you've got guests that are huge James Bond fans, are huge music fans, um, then this is a truly popular and lovely place to be. They have a gorgeous outside like garden with lovely um, bathtubs again really popular with with the British guests in particular um, but it's just a very very special place to be so as I mentioned there's lots of activities you can do fishing you can go kayaking you can go paddle boarding a lot of the guests go kayaking and paddle boarding uh, sort of every day to get around the resort which is a really lovely lovely thing to do um, and as I've mentioned before the Ian Fleming airport is just five minutes away which is fantastic um, so that is the most beautiful golden eye. Again, uh, we get a lot of musicians because of Chris Blackwell's background going to this property um, and a lot of uh, Ian Fleming um, supporters, but also just a lot of regular uh, guests who really like to experience the whole luxury Jamaica feel. Um, so that is GoldenEye. We're moving very quickly on to Strawberry Hill, which is again a little gem of a property owned by Chris Blackwell. Uh, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, absolutely stunning. It's in the Blue Mountains where they make the most amazing Blue Mountain uh, Jamaica coffee. And again, we can give you wonderful tours of the Blue Mountains, getting to visit these lovely coffee houses. Um, it's very boutique, it's very small. They've got 13 individual style cottages, uh, really colonial in style, love, beautifully spacious with amazing, amazing views of the Blue Mountains. It's so pretty and I couldn't recommend it more highly enough. It's very, it's about 40 minutes from Kingston Airport where British Airways 
flies in, into Jamaica. Um, and again, at night, you can see it's absolutely stunning. This is the great bar area. There are fantastic pictures of Chris Blackwell um, with lots of famous celebrity mu musicians such as the Rolling Stones and obviously, um, you know, Bob Marley. Um, but the most charming thing to do uh, for all your guests to do is get a wonderful Blackwell rum cocktail uh, or a martini and watch as the sun sets and the sunsets are amazing here and the lights of Kingston come twinkling on um, at night and it really is the most beautiful place uh, to be. There's a lovely little spa, so with 13 just rooms, there's a spa with four treatment rooms with Aveda products, which is really nice. Um, and again, you know, if you want to experience uh, the beautiful Blue Mountains, it's utterly stunning. Uh, we can create tours, not only just uh, going to see the coffee houses, but also hiking in these mountains. We've got a wonderful relationship with a Rastafarian called Dave, who will take you through these mountains, which is a beautiful thing to do. And again, if you're a big cricket fan, we can take you to the, the cricket stadium in uh, Kingston, and also to go and see the Bob <laughs> Museum and lots of things like that. Moving very quickly on um, to the caves. Uh, the caves is in a beautiful spot called Negril. Negril has this wonderful seven mile beach and it's truly be picturesque and beautiful um, and and we've got this lovely little boutique property again really fun just 11 cottages and suites in this cliff area um, we get a lot of honeymooners really enjoying this all the rooms are um, really authentic and and really exciting it's incredibly romantic we have this lovely um restaurant in the cliffs itself with this brilliant rum bar and at night it's all lit with fairy um with lovely candles you can hear the waves crashing and and they've got just beautiful food so if you're looking for a romantic sort of unique boutique getaway uh whilst traveling around jamaica this the caves is is really quite fun and quite exciting a lot of people are doing cave dives um and they go kayaking from here um we've got a, a instructor called paul who shows everyone how to jump from the cliffs and it's a really sorry quite really fun exciting adrenaline rush thing to do uh we've got a little spa here with just one treatment room again and we do daily yoga so it's a real chill and a lovely place to be um it's really nice if you could do a tour of Jamaica because all the areas are so diverse and so beautiful. So you could do a combination and go from the caves in the grill to Strawberry Hill in the Blue Mountains to Golden Eye in Oracabessa and get a really different feel and vibe of Jamaica itself. If you've got clients who've got sort of two weeks spare, then that is something really lovely and exciting to do. Um, and then Chris Blackwell uh, also owns his own property in a beautiful place called Pantrapan, which is absolutely stunning. It's a gorgeous farm. It's where they grow all their fruit and vegetables and graze their cattle. They've got a beautiful two bedroom guest cottage here where guests can stay um, and they can enjoy the natural environment of Chris's garden um, and also Chris's housekeeping catering um, staff will also cater and cook for you. Um, so it's a really special, beautiful experience. And they have the most amazing garden. Um, I, this, there's this amazing tree, which is just truly stunning. And it's got a real wow factor. Um, and one of the reasons Chris said that he bought the property, but it's beautiful. So again, if you've got clients who would like something you know, very much tailor-made, very private, very safe in, in this beautiful environment, then going to see Pantrapan is a lovely thing to do. Um, all the fruit and vegetables and the meat and everything comes from this farm. So a lot of, and, and all, uh, all the food and vegetables for all the hotels come from here. So it's um, very organic farm to table um, kind of setting as well. And absolutely beautiful, as you can see. Um, and Firefly, just very quickly, is, is, was Nell Coward's home. This is- a Annabelle, Annabelle. Am I going too, too much? I think that one isn't, isn't someplace that you can stay. And I think we're losing quite a few of the agents and oh, we're sorry. a bit more time schedule. I'm going to ask Sarah to bring up the questions and if we can answer them. Yeah. But everybody who's on the webinar, we, we have their details and we will share with them a, a live link to this and also the details of everybody who's here. So if they have any other questions that they want to ask, they can come through to you directly. Sarah, yeah. are you back on, Sarah? Should I? Yeah, I'm having problems with my internet, though, and I've lot, all of the questions have disappeared, so they'll, they'll email to me, and I'll have to, I'll have to ask you them um, on an email in, in, a, in a while. Um, 
Sorry, I've had to. But we on we will get the questions answered for everybody. And again, I'm really grateful for Linda for having gotten up so early in the morning to join us to give us the perspective from Jamaica. For the agents and tour operators who are on with us today, you can see that Jamaica has reinvented itself in some respects. Our luxury offering is one of the best in the Caribbean. And for your affluent Avengers, those customers who are going to be keen to get out there once the travel restrictions are lifted, Jamaica has a superb reinvented luxury product that's there and waiting for them. To all of the cluster members, thank you for joining us today. I hope it's been really helpful. We will answer all the questions that come through, but I know that everybody has scheduled and they may need to get back to all the meetings. So thank you very, very much. And this will be available to watch online. So again, thank you. And hopefully we'll see you all in Jamaica very soon. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you very thank much. You Sarah. Thank you, Torrance. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you Torrance. Thank you, Torrance. Bye. Bye. Bye.